All right, everyone, welcome back. Again, we're going to be in Psalms again today. Um, you know, I just wanted to read just a, 30, a small portion of 39. Again, welcome back to the channel and gratitude for all this uh, support um, and sharing and liking and joining in of the group. Um, again, this is not really your mama's Bible study because <laughs> we're dealing with um, the past, present, and future. We're dealing with um, the spiritual aspect of it, not really as uh, religious. Um, and we're just going through the word and, and, and looking at the different layers in order to interpret and see what's going on, especially with things that are going on in the times right now. Um, and Psalm 39 says, I said to myself, I'm going to, I'm going to quit complaining. And again, looking at the body, right? Of, um, looking at the body. Okay. And seeing how one thing can affect another. So it's almost like even when that happened to me, like, uh, you know, there are uh, energies and souls that intertwine with each other, you know, during these journeys. And like one thing that you do may affect the other. So again, as above, so below. If something is going on with those above, then is it going on with those below? And I mean like in higher... Uh, elevated statuses okay we'll say that and then those of the underworld so it's almost like cleaving like a man will leave his mother and father and cleave to his wife and that that cleavage or that cleaving and then even is that talking about the breast or um and again if these at, if at one time these women are goddesses or giants would that create so I don't know <laughs> I just thought about that but it says I said to myself I'm going to quit complaining I'll keep quiet especially when the ungodly are around me but as I stood there in silent turmoil within me grew uh, to the bursting point the more I mused, the hotter the fire inside then at last I spoke and pled with God, Lord, help me to realize how brief my time on earth here will be. Okay. So, um, you know, it talks about um, the life basically saying, it's, you know, you're just here for a flash of time. Um, and it's almost like even, it says, a, uh, a proud man frail his breath he heaps up riches for someone else to spend and so Lord my only hope is in you save me from being overpowered by my sins for even fools will mock me then Lord I am speechless before you I will not open my mouth to speak one word of complaint for my punishment is from you okay so again, this is, you know, it, I don't know, I see a sense of duality here. As if someone is here to service a Lord or a Lordess. Um, and they're being persecuted maybe in their, in their realm or in their status. And at the same time, the person that is in the lower status or in the other status, possibly even the underworld, can feel that pain as well. And it's kind of like, um, I don't know. It's like a, it's a dual nature here, I feel. So like everything that you send out, right, comes back in a sense. And it's saying, save me from being overpowered by my sins for even fools will mock me then. Lord, I am speechless before you. I will not open my mouth to speak another word or complaint for my punishment is from you. 
And it's almost like this Lord is punishing. I mean, and even because it's saying, I've said to myself. So it seems like even a conversation with self, even maybe even your higher and your lower self. The self that is above and the one that is below. Yeah. Lord, don't hit me anymore. I am exhausted beneath your hands. And even if you think about an overlord, like even, you know, your higher self will be the overlord in the sense of the lower. Anyhow. All right, let's go. Um, yeah, let's keep going. So it says here, um, hear my prayer, O, o Lord. Listen to my cry. Don't sit back un unmindful of my tears. And again, like I can see this in your eyes. Mm. Unmindful of my tears, for I am your guest. I am a traveler passing through the earth, as all my fathers were. Spare me, Lord. Let me recover and be filled with happiness again before my death. And that's the thing. I don't know why. Um, there are a couple of uh, angels or watchers that I hold dear to me. <laughs> And, um, you know, I just, I watch them and I hear them, I see them. And I think that like, uh, once you can see like the eyes being the window of the soul and once you know now, and, and, and it's like a unity amongst you and those particular, uh, soul siblings. It's uh, it's hard because you're, you're trying to figure out wh where is the energy coming from, and I just I see why I was feeling some kind of way. I waited patiently for God to help me, then because then again they will be all as one, and that's why that's the connection there. I waited patiently for God to help me. Then he listened and heard my cry. He lifted me out of the pit of despair, out from the bog of the mire, and set my feet on hard ground, firm path, and steadied, um, steadied me as I walked along. He gave me a new song to sing of praises to our God. Now many will hear the glorious things he did for me and stand in awe before the Lord and put their trust in him or her, okay? Many blessings are given to those who trust the Lord and have no confidence in those who are proud or who trust in idols. O oh Lord, my God, many and many a time you have done great miracles for us and we are ever in your thoughts. Who else can do such glorious things? No one else can be compared with you. There isn't time to tell all of your wonderful deeds. It isn't sacrifices or offerings which you really want from your people. You know? And that's almost just like, uh, even just on the, in the spiritual realm, dealing with this and, you know, uh, trying to be of service and available and offering up just unconditional love in a sense. You know, um, with limited judgment and limited all these things and, you know, just being a life giver or a giver in general and not getting anything back. 
um, and then also being of assistance in the spiritual realm and this realm and not really asking for any form of payment or anything like that and, to, and still giving gratitude and, and seeing that it's not just about one person is bigger than that, that it's about a whole entire group or body. Um, burnt animals bring no special joy to your heart. And again, just thinking about people or animals in that sense of how, what, what animal or uh, people and animal being somewhat interchangeable, right? Stock or um, that, you know, it, it almost makes me think about like even a, a sun god, right? Um, and thinking about like the animals that graze on the land or the grass, they eat off of the, the earth, see? All the days of their life, they eat off of the earth. Do you get what I'm saying? And so, you know, there's a lot of people that seem to think that there may be something going on with the sun. And, you know, it, it, this is making me think what I'm just basically trying to say is that this they may, may have kept the secrets to this particular god or goddess because they thought that possibly they wanted to destroy them in a sense, right? But that's not really what it was about. I don't know, that's what I'm getting here. But you have accepted the offer of my lifelong service. And it's almost like a commitment or a joining together of souls or twin or some, something like that nature. Like a joining together, like you, you cleave on to or join with the Father, or even like we talked about with the throne. Um, and who's going to sit on it, the chariots and things like this, right? Then I said, see, I have come just as all the prophets foretold, and I delight to do your will, my God, for your law is written upon my heart. I have told everyone the good news that you forgive men's sins. I have been timid about you about it, as you know, you well know. So again, in a sense, it just seems like also that that's why certain angels, because angels will be soldiers, right? And they are fighting a, fo a form of war. So again, if we're talking about spiritual warfare, what do we think? And it's a still a, a service, right? Or being of service. okay timid about you as you well know oh lord i have not kept this good news hidden in my heart but i have proclaimed your loving kindness uh and truth to all the congregation and so again i feel like i've had two instances where i can sense this uh one a couple of uh weeks back with one entity that i hold very dear <laughs> and then um, the other, a current or recent new, like stepping over a threshold into. Um, and again, it's like that trust or earning that trust between two souls or, I don't know, in order to, <laughs> to walk in a sense on a journey, like, I don't know. And it says, oh, Lord, don't hold back your tender mercies from me. My only hope is in your love and faithfulness. Otherwise, I perish from problems far too big for me to solve. Are piled high, higher than my head. Meanwhile, my sins, too many to count, have all caught up with me. And I am ashamed to look up. My heart quells within me. Please, Lord, rescue me quick. Come and help me. Confuse them, turn them around, and send them sprawling. All these who are trying to destroy me disgrace these scoffers with their utter failure. And so again, this is why I sense this with those who I'm connected to. But my joy of the Lord be given to everyone who loves him and his salvation. May they can constantly exclaim how great is how great God is. So it's kind of like it's someone trying to convince a congregation that God is actually good. You know, and it's like even thinking about that movie Godzilla, in a sense. 
Like, what were they really fighting for? What, what, were they really fighting against each other? Or were they fighting against the principalities? <laughs> All along the way, they tore some things up. <laughs> but, again, Godzilla. And I don't know about you guys, but I don't know this movie here. And, again, it is say I'm being biased or not it was a very balanced or just a motherly and fatherly protective a very uh warrior um sense of I, I, I a femininity with that movie this time and I'm just wondering what it's trying to tell us here it says I am poor and needy yet the Lord is thinking about me right now Oh my God, you are my helper. You are my savior. Come quickly and save me. Please don't delay. Mm -hmm. And so again, it's the whole thing of just like this whole thing with uh, money, you know, and people thinking that, you know, everybody gets, you know, of course people need to live, but some people don't strive for that type of wealth, um, you know, and that's okay, you know, to each his own. That's it. You know, you earned it. You do what you want to do with it. You know, but don't don't put people down that don't have it. And the same thing, if you don't have it, don't be mad at somebody else for having it. Go get it. You know, I, I sit in the midst of it because I just don't see this world. I look at it as a foreign sometimes, really. You know, uh, just observing things ever since a little girl. Um, and of course, you know, who doesn't like to do things or spend money or do these things like this? But, you know, when is there everything? You know, I, w I wonder if you you would check and see if you haven't lost yourself, you know, along the way. And that's just it. You know? Um, yeah. But again, to think that um, uh, people have their own reasons for doing a lot of things. But just like this, him saying, um, I'm poor and needy. Yet the Lord is thinking about me right now. Um, you know. That. And that's the thing. The Lord, or even when you think about a Christ, will be coming to those who are needy. Again, and I think that that's why some of the energies and entities that I deal with, I can sense, even though it, you, it, there might be looking to be, and just even, even dealing with ourselves and our family, it may look like somebody is okay on the outside. It may look like they have something on the outside, but they may not have that, and they may, you know. It, but it's it's a uh, it's treating the person how you want to be treated, <laughs> and because and just not judging. I don't know. It's a, it's a sense of um, humility, maybe, you know. But for me, nothing, uh, those type of things would never be something why I wouldn't deal with somebody, no matter what. No matter what. I'm just someone that just wants to be forgiving, you know. I want to live like everybody else lives, and I want us to know that we have the opportunity to do whatever we want to do in this world and not not you know not play the vic victim and everybody's not going to want the same things and the same heights and the same you know and that's fine too you know as long as something is going on that makes you happy and productive in your life you know what what can anybody say you know and again when you're talking about pleasing the lord you know are we talking about just your higher self and making that connection <laughs> you know and making that connection right so Anyways, I want to thank you guys for listening. Um, again, I hope you guys are enjoying these. Um, you know, while we're here, let's just go ahead and just read 41. You know, it's just feeling so good outside. I'm sitting out here on my deck. <laughs> and I'm just reading. And let's just do 41 because I definitely want to go over to the new way that things are being done. And it says, God bless those who are kind to the poor. He helps them out in their troubles. He protects them and keeps them alive. He publicly honors them and destroys the power of their enemies. He nurses them when they are sick and soothes their pain and worries. Oh, Lord, I pray, be kind and heal me, for I have confessed my sins. But my enemies say, 
may he soon die and be forgotten. They act so friendly when they come to visit me while I'm sick, but all the time they hate me and are glad that I am lying there upon the bed in pain. And when they leave, they laugh and mock. They whisper together about what they will do when I'm dead. It's fatal, almost like in a fatal attraction. Whatever it, uh, whatever it is, and then you have to ask yourself, what are you mad at this person for? What is it really? And is it something that may be the root of all evil that you thought might have been challenged by that particular entity? And, and, then, and then you want, you look back and you see how nonsensical it, it kind of really is. And that, that's not even what, you know, I just, I just don't, you know. And then I'm just speaking in this sense because this is really touching me because it's about things that I've been going through. Um, and I didn't really expect it to be there. Okay. Um, it's fatal. Uh, whatever it is, they said, he'll never get out of that bed. And again, you know, that's where some people might be wrong. And it's almost like being in a grave or something if, as if they thought, right? Even my best friend has turned against me, a man I completely trusted. How often we ate together. And again, that's breaking bread or went in or was deep, you know. It went there. I mean, it was just really deep, you know. Um, yeah. And then, and then to be mocked as if, oh, that person doesn't trust. Well, you know. I, the fact that somebody can come in, throw things all around, mess up things and act like they weren't there and then say, hey, look at this. You know, it's kind of like, a, you know, but that's crafty counsel, I guess, you know. And again, you know, everything is an obstacle. Everything is there are stumbling blocks and there are challenges. And again, as long as you what? Get back up, get on your feet. If you can't do it, go within, go to that higher self, connect with source and bring it back. Can't nobody on earth stop that. And as long as you know that that's in you, hey, what can they do? And that you're protected, you know? So it says, Lord, do not desert me. Be gracious, Lord, and make me well again so I can pay them back. Ooh, well, I guess the Bible is talking about payback, <laughs> you know? And everybody's payback is different. You never know what you're going to get back. Unfortunately, some people are not like other people and they're fair and balanced. And if we could all just looked at it like that in the first place, we could have missed out on a lot of stuff. Because I see the trembling of those. I see I see the trembling of those in those in those positions. I see the frail bodies. I see the ailments, you know. I see it. They want to cover it with a mask, but no, 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 no. There's a failing going on, and I can see right through it. I know you are pleased with me because you haven't let my enemies triumph over me. You have preserved me because I was honest. And again, people will make you think, and that's what I'm saying about this word. People will make you think that you're doing something wrong with what you're speaking when you're speaking it directly from source. Or you you speaking it in the spirit that was gifted to you or bestowed upon you by the Lord. Because I, at one point I had to question, dang, what did I say wrong? I'm not doing nothing but what you, you know, I feel like you told me to go back to my old ways. Well, where, where are we going with this? <laughs> you know? And then to find that, that equilibrium, is that what it is, right? <laughs> or that something in between or that balance, you know? Um, yeah. And so I see this also with, yeah, okay. You have preserved me because I was honest. You have admitted me forever to your presence. Bless the Lord, the God of Israel, who exists for everlasting ages past and on into everlasting eternity ahead. Amen and amen or amen and amen. <laughs> so again, I, I hope you guys uh, enjoyed this. I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it like I'm really feeling it. <laughs> I'm really feeling it. You know, I knew that we were coming to a crossroads. I felt it. I feel it. I feel it.
I feel it right now. <laughs> oh, where are we going with this? <laughs> okay, so yeah, look, we'll be back. I mean, it's almost like we're reading a love story right here. <laughs> Is that what we're doing? It's almost like that's what's happening, but we'll see. Okay. <laughs> We'll see. Again, thanks for um, commenting, <laughs> rating, subscribing, and joining us in the Facebook group, American Aborigines Unchained, for more information like this. And I will see you guys soon. <laughs>